All right, as far as I'm aware, this is game two. It might be game one, it might be game three, but it's game two. So, um, once again, we have a Terran and uh, as for the pink Terran for Jet and the green Zerg for Hang'em High. Now, we are on Dreamcatcher LE. This is a big map, but this bag, this map, sorry, it has a very special place in my heart because I remember a approximately two hour long Protoss versus Protoss game on this map back when I was still a math schooler myself. And let me tell you, that was uh, a travesty. And I remember it very, very vividly. Um, so last game, uh, the Zerg built Ling Bane and the Terran couldn't do anything about that. Um, so here's my advice to you. If you're a Terran player and the Zerg is playing Ling Bane, there are many things you could build. I think Widow Mines would have been a good choice. I think you should have had tanks earlier behind the wall. Don't leave a hole in your wall. More marauders. Stuff like that would have got you through there. Or just things that are in the air that they can't reach, you know? Things that fly. Just a consideration. But anywho, um, this barracks a little bit really suspiciously placed. Um, the expand already down for the Zerg, as to be expected. But, um, uh, you know, I mean, I know the add-on will probably block this. So it's okay, but like, you know, you've got to be weary of an early Zerg push, so, you know. Currently, you have no information. It's gas pool, very, very normal opening for the Zerg. Very, very normal opening for the Terran as well. The gas goes down around the same time as the Barracks, which is what we expect to see. Um, looks like a Marine first is being opted for, rather than um, Reactor first, which is yes, much more normal. Um, you know, get one Marine, and then you build your... Uh, your um uh your orbital command then you build your expand which i mean doing this blind i'm not so sure i would have at least liked to send an scv to try and get the uh try and get the pool the, the hatch timing before i do this but it's okay um this marine is gonna stand here looking nice and which fair enough i guess here comes the mule good use of your energy from your um uh orbital command and uh yeah not much going on at this stage of the game honestly I like how, like, you know, how green this map is. You might like how green this map is too. Look at all the fauna. Well, flora, actually. Sorry, I misspeak. Is, are there any fauna in this map? Are there any critters? I don't actually know. Let's have a good look around, shall we? Are there any critters? I'll keep an eye on the top left in case anything interesting happens. Well, if there are any critters, then they're good word of feeding me. Nah, no, no critters. No critters. Okay, Zerg momentarily supply blocked. I guess that means that an Overlord has been killed. Uh, we can verify this by having a look at their vision. Yes, their Overlord saw pretty much all there is to see. Um, which is, you know, not much. Is that, is that a gap? No, that's not a gap. They're fine. Oh, look at that. They are very, very aware that last game the Lings got in. So they are they are not hesitating with the supply depot. <laughs> <laughs> Here he comes, look, on his mission to build a whole bunch of supply depots. <laughs> That's his one job. That is what he was employed to do. <laughs> All right, another overlord on the way, and the third coming down for the Zerg. Very, very good. Uh, very, very normal. Uh, these queens injecting the hatcheries. We're probably on cooldown, which is very, very good as well. That's what a boost in production. Ling's in production too. Looking like a very similar game to the first currently, but we're going to have to see how that changes. This wall, should it finish up, will make a difference, particularly if you, as the Terran, decide to put down your factory as soon as you can and put a siege tank behind this wall. That will put an end to any shenanigans trying to bust through here. Um, you know... That will prevent them from just breaking down your wall because you'll be able to kill them first from the high ground. So please, do something like that. Of course, there are things Zerg can do about that, but presuming your opponent goes with the same strategy as they did last game, that's your best bet, and I really recommend you do something like that. Um, I'm excited to cast some Zerg. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> okay, here comes plus one melee upgrades and plus one weapon upgrades. Again, very early upgrade timings. You really want to be doing things like Sim and Combat Shield first if you're a Terran. Um, oh, here come some lings. They're going to kill the SCV and apply some early pressure. What did they see? Well, they would have seen basically everything there is to see, really. That one SCV, whose hopes and dreams it were to build the wall, over. It never succeeded in its job. Never, ever succeeded. And now the torch has been passed to this SCV, minerals in hand, to continue their dream. Make sure that their death was not in vain. 
I can't have a nose. That's a drop on Lord in production. Oh, that is exciting. Oh, if the oh man, I'm excited by this. This is so cool. All right, that is gonna be epic. So what they're gonna do? Drop some Zergling, drop some Banelings in. If it's Bane Rain, I'm gonna be absolutely delighted. The Zer the Bane Nest not quite done, but you know, uh, Zergling. Okay, the Zerglings are in. The Zerglings are loaded into the drop on Lord. And where are you going? The enemy base is here. Why are you going home? Oh, it's probably an F2 click. No? Oh, more links. Here we go. The drop on Lord. Oh, I'm so excited. Here they come. This is going to be so cool. Oh, the, the pincer attack. This wall finished, except this supply depot technically not done. So this supply depot far flying, no supply. Will they? No, they've noticed. And the supply depot has finished. The torch has been passed. And the gold is completed. That SCV's death was not in vain. Um, the drop on Lord is here. On ready to deploy its vast evil upon the world of the Terran. Here they come, presumably. Ah, oh, here they come. And they're gonna go right for the factory. Not what I want to see, what I want to see right now. I wanna see these lings here doing economic damage. I, and then they're gonna go right into the Marines. That was such a waste, right? Drop all probably gonna get shot down as well. What a waste, right? That was a really poor idea and meanwhile the Terran gonna go in for the Zerg and probably gonna get quite a lot of damage done there isn't much to defend this but the Banelings are gonna come home and oh boy if one of these Banelings connect oh my goodness gracious me they're all gone just like that still though a very poor exchange for the Terran like for the Zerg sorry the Terran did very very well there I might apologize the Zerg did very very poorly there they lost a, qu a queen they, then the, the, the drop of lord did nothing because rather than targeting, you know, the SCVs, they targeted this base, which is just not what you want to be. Sorry, this, this, this building, which is sorry, it's just not what you want to be doing. You know, you want to be targeting these um, SCVs, which is you know rather unfortunate. Um, so the Zerg had a good idea, but they didn't really follow up on it very, very well at all, which I'm rather disappointed by, honestly. Um, so if we look at them, uh, the units lost tab, yeah, that's pretty rough for the Zerg. 60 Ling's already dead. Um, and you've lost um, uh, two Queens, which is rough. So, you know, uh, you want to sort that out. Ling Bane's still going to be the strategy from the Zerg. The Terran, in their in all, in all fairness, not doing much about it. Here comes a little strike force of Terran, but there's more Zerg than there is Terran. If one of these Bane Ling connects, most of the Marines will die, and the Marauders will get absolutely crushed by the Lings. So, I don't see this going very well for the Terran at all. And here they come, though, through the wall. The Bane Ling connects going to clean up the, uh, the, 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 the Marines, and the Marauders are going to get surrounded and die. As I said, that's exactly what would happen. Uh, if you look at the units lost tab now, yeah, like, you know, eight Lings went down. But for what? A lot of Marines and five Marauders. That's pretty unfortunate. The Lings are going to check that their engine pack still a wall. And they're going to have to think of something else in the meantime. Uh, put the production tab back up, um, please. Put the production tab back up. Thank you. Okay, so. Um, I kind of want to notice that neither side is building any workers at this moment. Which is mildly... Actually, never mind. Two SCVs in production. Zerg, please keep building drones. I know you're on, like, a good number of them. But build another base and build more drones, you know? You could have more. You have less than 66 right now. And every time you build a building, that's one less drone you have. So, keep that in mind. Um, still, though... Okay, I don't know about this move out. There aren't enough lings for this. Although, if they catch this... Ooh. I'm sorry, but Marine Marauder just isn't going to help you against this much Ling Bane. You need to build something else. Here come the speed, the speed Banes, but they're going to not get a touch on the Marine. The Marine's going to do a fair amount of damage. Um, here come the Banelings, and oh, that's a lot of Marines going down for nothing. These Marines are also going to make it to these Marines. This base is going to fall to the Lings, and the Lings are going to clear up the combat. That's going to be it. What can I say? The Zerg just out micro the Terran there. 92 Lings down, but uh, the Terran just got out macro And with every exchange that happens now, after that first bad one for the Zerg, it's just getting more and more even. Medivacs will assist these Marines, so it could be a little bit better. Um, but if a Baneling connects and just kills them all, well, then it's not going to matter. Yeah, these Zerg things are going to have a little bit of a harder time because of the Medivac, but they're still going to kill every single Marine there. Which, you know, look at these Lings. There's so many of them now. They're on their way. And they're going to try and break through the wall now, which I think is a bit ambitious. I don't think this is what you want to be doing. 
I think they might just about get through, however. And if they do get through, they can go right into the mineral line. I mean, I don't know. That's a lot of links. Now, hold on a second. That is a lot of links. No, don't go right there. If you want to kill these guys, kill them. Okay, look, some of them have been sped off to do that, and we're going to see a lot of SCPs fall to this. None of these Zerglings are going to get through. This is going to burn, but they can be repaired, and it will be repaired. You don't need to pull that many SCPs to repair it, my friend. Um, the, the, the Zerglings are going to chip away, not realizing the base can fly. Um, the uh, Expand basically shut down for the Terran, which is good for the Zerg. More links on the way. This link flood proving very well. And now the un the, um, uh, the resources is lost. Now we're in favor of the Zerg. So, you know, there's more and more exchanges in the Zerg's favor. To the point where now, at this point, we're just going to have it so that the Zerg is in a much better position than the Terran. After that first exchange. And the Terran's had enough. We don't even have get to see the, the final, the last stand. The Terran just hangs in hangs in the towel, so it's going to be 2-0 to hang them high. I think last time I said 1-0 to Jet. That's wrong. It wasn't. Jet lost. Sorry. If I did that, that was a mistake. Um, well played, hang them high. Um, well played both players, honestly, but the circle was just a little bit better. Their micro was a little bit better. The macro was a little bit better. And their, cho their choice of unit composition was just a little bit better. GG's.